in the NFL draft. The th hey, make us lunch. We're hungry. When we left Philly 500, he was on the verge of getting his head crushed to a million pixels. Hey. How does he get out of this one? <laughs> Let's find out on this episode of Philly 500. First try to kill me. Hey! He's trying to kill me. Alright. I'll use Gematria. I'll use Gematria. Today's the second month. Second. Second month. Second day. 2018. That's two, two, two. I was born on the second. Two, 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 four twos. Four twos of Gematria equals success. King Ding Bat equals four, four, three, seven, seven, eight. All my life is strength. Going in my veins. Seven, four, three, two equals. Thing badish, so deep to fight. Come on, Frank! Where you at, Frank? Come on, Frank, where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Come on! Where's Frank? Hey Frank, I need your help, Frank! You tried to kill me, Frank! Let people go to your restaurant and eat, Frank! Don't be a jerk off, Frank! Come on, Frank! I'm gonna get you for trying to kill me, Frank! Anyways. Yo everybody, how you doing? King Ding by here? And hey, I survived the attack. I used Gematria as my guide, as my power source, and whoo, I got out of a dangerous situation. It really works. Now, I want to thank you all for joining me today. And I know I'm a little goofy. I know I do a little goofy videos this week. It's been weird. I'm just in a good mood. I'm just in a happy, excited mood about the Super Bowl. And I wanted to be a little bit dingbash. So thank you for putting up with me. I appreciate it. Now, today is the day. The day of days. The day of days. For all of you who have eyes to see. The Eagles. Patriots. Super Bowl 52 is coming. Couple days away. And this is my prediction preview show where I will give you my prediction and my MVP of the game. So this is gonna be one thing. Eagles, Patriots, Super Bowl 52, let's get this going. Here's how I see it, right? The two main things that I think the Eagles have to do effectively to win this game is on defense, they gotta get pressure on Tom Brady. Now that's not gonna be an easy task, but the Eagles gotta get pressure on Brady. And I think you'll see Brady, I think he'll go out He'll do a lot of quick passes, a lot of three-step drops, a lot of slant routes, a lot of stuff to the to the running backs out of the backfield. And then, of course, you have Gronk. And they're going to get rid of the ball real quick. So you hope that the corners, they're going to play press coverage. They're going to jam at the line and try to throw these quick timing routes off of Tom Brady. I think that's what you have to do. Force Brady to hold the ball longer. Force him to get pressured and that kind of thing. If he's getting rid of the ball three seconds and guys are wide open and they got a lot of room to work with short passes and that kind of stuff, the Eagles, it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to drive you nuts watching it and the Eagles are going to get, they're going to get, they're going to get thrown on and the Brady is going to go down and they're going to score touchdowns. That's what it's going to be. So you got to get pressure. I think you have to jam those receivers. You have to play tight coverage and you got to get pressure. You got to get pressure and that's going to be the key to stop and Brady. If they don't get pressure, we're going to have big problems. So that's what I think defensively they, they really have to do well. You know what I mean? They really have to do. If they can force a turnover or two, even better. Now offensively, I think the best thing that they could do is run the ball effectively. You can run on this Patriots defense. This Patriots defense, this Patriots team, it's not like the 2004 Patriots. It's not some of the better Patriot teams, I think. They have looked bad, especially late in the year. I thought at times they didn't look good. They didn't look good at times against Jacksonville. There were times that they didn't even look good, you know, down the stretch. So what I think the Patriots, you know, I think that defensively you can score on them. You can run the ball on them. And if the Eagles can run the ball effectively with Ajayi, with Clement, with Blunt, if they can run the ball, keep Brady off the field, wear that defense out, I think I think the Eagles are going to be in very, very, very good position to win. You think about Ajayi, right? Ajayi 
has not had a ton of carries this year. He has a lot left. He's the kind of guy that could go off, have 200-yard games, 25 carries. This is the perfect kind of game for him. I really believe that he could be an MVP of this Super Bowl. I think he has that in him. And I think Foles will have confidence. I think the running game, of course, will help Foles and will start to open the passing game up. I, I like Ertz, of course. But I think running the ball, keeping Brady off the field will be key. And I think you can do that against New England effectively. Now, if you do these things, I think you have a really good chance to win. The other thing I want to say is when you think of Bill Belichick, right? Maybe the greatest coach ever, right? I think it's reasonable to say that. The thing with Belichick is he's so good at game plans, right? At shutting what an opponent does well. He's very good at shutting that down. So the way I see it, whatever the Eagles did in that Minnesota game, he's going to be ready to shut it down. So the Eagles, Doug Peterson, he needs to come out. He needs to show New England stuff they haven't seen. That's why I want to concentrate on running a little more. Now, once you do that and you play the first half, Belichick is the kind of guy that can go in at halftime, make adjustments, and totally shut down what you did before. That's why if I'm Doug Peterson, whatever I do in the first half, right? Let's say I come out, I lean on the run more, New England makes adjustments. When they come out in that second half and they've made adjustments to what I was doing in the first half, I'm Peterson, I'm totally changing up what I'm doing in the second half. I am going to throw Belichick for a loop. I'm gonna to try to keep him off balance because he's so good at making adjustments to what his to what the opponent is doing and how to shut them down. We saw that in the 04 Super Bowl where we had success early in the first half. In the second half, he changed things up and we didn't adjust well. Especially um, defensively, we had a problem. They really leaned in the second half of that 04 with Corey Dillon and, and we weren't ready for it. You have to change up on Belichick before he shuts you down. So whatever we do in the first half, if it works, whatever. Whatever Doug Peterson does in the first half, I go in, I'm Doug Peterson, I'm changing it up in the second half. So Belichick is kind of thrown off. I think that's what you really have to do with Belichick, you know? So I think this is gonna be a great game, actually. I think it's gonna be an exciting game. I think it's gonna be a close game. So now it's time to give you my prediction of this game. Now the first thing I'm gonna say is, to all that are going to this game, to all that are there for Super Bowl week, I hope you have eyes to see. Have eyes to see, be aware of your surroundings, and be safe. Now, it's late in the fourth quarter. The Eagles are gonna be up 23 to 21. And then, here's what's gonna happen. The, the Patriots are gonna have the ball. Four minutes, 52 seconds left. Use that in Gematria. What the hell is 452? Anyways, so it's going to be Brady. Brady, hey, quick pass to Amendola. They're going to kind of hurry up a little bit, get going. Brady, hey, out of the backfield, Deion Lewis. And then Brady's going to be fired. And the Patriots are going to go down the field. And they're going to be stopped, which is going to lead to a field goal. And it's up. And it is good. Patriots take a lead. 24-23. With 2.36 left. What the hell does that mean in Gematria? 2 comes before 3. 3 comes before 6. 2.36. Two, 2.36. Three, six. Two, three, six. That, that mean, what does that mean? We'll have to see. So then, they have the kickoff. Now, here's the kickoff. Foles comes back. The Eagles get the ball at the 25-yard line. 2 minutes. What did I say? 2 minutes, 36 seconds left. So now, the Eagles, they get the ball. Foles in a shotgun. Back to pass. He's looking. He finds Aguilar for six yard gain. Then he quick handoff. We go to a two minute warning. Ajayi gets the first down on the handoff, by the way. So now the Eagles have the ball at the 38 yard line. We are at the two minute warning. And Nick Foles, with the moment, we've all wondered how would Foles handle the biggest stage? How would Foles handle? A chance to win a championship. <clears throat> so Foles, he's in a shotgun. Ball snap. Foles looking. He's looking. He's looking. He's firing over the middle. 
Ertz for 15 yards. Eagles at around midfield. Foles, they come up. They spike the ball. Whatever. Time is ticking. We got a minute. 28 seconds, something like that left. Eagles have one timeout. Then, Foles at the 50 yard line. Foles looking around. Foles takes a snap. Quick little screen to Jai. A Jai. He breaks a 25 yard run and he gets down to about the 30. The Patriots 30. The Eagles quickly. They come up to the line. We got 58 seconds. 57 seconds. 56 seconds. Patriots have no timeout. 55 seconds. Foles at the at the Patriots 30. Hands off the ball. A Jai up the middle for six yards. The time continues to wind down. Eagles wind down and out when we get to about 10 seconds left the Eagles use a timeout and on comes Jake Elliott now Jake Elliott maybe it's less than 10 seconds left. So Jake Elliott with 10 seconds left 45 yard forward finish him the ball snap the kick is up and it's no good. No, just kidding. I'm just kidding. It's good. Eagles win the Super Bowl. Yeah, Eagles win the Super Bowl. 26 to 24. Eagles Super Bowl 52 champions. Jamatra said it. Woo! Woo! We're celebrating. You celebrate. I'm celebrating. You celebrate. I'm celebrating. And Eagles win the Super Bowl. And that is what I think will happen in Super Bowl 52. Eagles. 26 Patriots 24 in a thriller. So as the Eagles win the Super Bowl 26 to 24, my MVP pick for the Super Bowl will be Jay Ajayi. Now Foles may win it, it's very possible, but I just have a really good feeling about Jay Ajayi. So he will be my Super Bowl MVP. The Eagles win Super Bowl 52, win the first title. We're all celebrating. And you know what? These are the days of days. Don't forget that. Eyes to see. These are the days of days. Now, that's my prediction. I hope everybody enjoys the Super Bowl. I sure will enjoy it. I can't wait for it. And hey, we'll see what happens. With that said, I hope everybody has a good day. Take care. Talk to you later. And uh, hey, don't be a ding. So we won't see it